Warning, the information provided in this video is for educational purposes only. Consult a local expert in several field guides for proper identification before use. Failure to do so may result in sickness, injury, or death. Virgin's Bower, also known as Clematis virginiana. This member of the buttercup family is a perennial, meaning its lifespan is longer than two years, and it grows in a habitat of riverbanks, hedges, and thickets. The plant grows between 8 and 15 feet tall, and has a white flower which is in bloom between July and August. The flower has four regular parts, or petal-like sepals, with small or no petals at all, and the flowers grow in clusters. The fruit is a distinctive cluster of feathery hairs attached to seeds called old man's beard, and the plant is a vine. The plant climbs by twisting its leaf stalk around supporting vegetation. The leaves are divided in threes and coarsely toothed. Warning: Virgin's bower is highly irritating to the skin and mucous membranes. Ingestion may cause bloody vomiting, severe diarrhea, and convulsions. This plant also looks a lot like poison ivy, so be sure of proper identification. As for this plant's medicinal purposes, the Cherokee used it as a ceremonial medicine and used it as an ingredient in green corn medicine. In an infusion mixed with milkweed, they used it for backache, and the root was used in an infusion and taken for stomach trouble, nerves, and kidney trouble. The Iroquois also used this plant for its medicinal properties. For a venereal disease remedy, dry the root and sprinkle it on the sores. Also steep a handful of the root in one quart of water until it's thick like a cream and then wash with this solution. For a kidney trouble remedy, when it burns, drink by the quart. And, as a hallucinogen, which gives you strange dreams, cut the stem into two to three inches and cook or boil five minutes. Then put the liquid on your face and hands. The King's American Dispensatory warns that if contacted with the skin in the fresh state, it will cause blisters. And, if taken internally, it acts as a corrosive poison. Both drying and boiling destroys its virulent or poisonous properties. Externally, it was used as a treatment of skin ailments, in the form of a litment made with the oil extract to cure itch. The green leaves are bruised and used to create blisters, scabs, and is a detergent for venereal or other idle ulcers. Internally, it was used as a diuretic and sudorific in chronic rheumatism and palsy.